Hello there, welcome back to Blue Army's Toys. I haven't done a room tour in a while, so here you go. Have a look around. So here we are with a DVD collection. Yes, the PlayStation has had to be moved outside their cabinet because it was overheating. Bit of a mess down here. I need to sort all this out. The Back to the Future Advent Calendar is still up. <laughs> My Lego collection down there, which I've been doing the live streams, a helmet and everything like that. The X Wing, the Diggy Steen X Wing, uh, which is absolutely massive. Uh, the, tech, the, the last 10 issues are actually coming now, so that's going to get built. And the bracket. I don't know if I'm going to put it on the wall. I've literally, literally no wall space. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, maybe I could put it up there. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. So, yeah, that is getting completed very soon. Uh, my desk, my table, where I, I do film with the support and obviously the tripod as well, which uh, the gimbal I'm actually holding as well. So, there's my... Back wing I got for one pound four p. I just I just need a canopy really for it. Um, maybe the missiles and there's a wing missing on the bottom, which I'm not really bothered. I might I, I have I've taken it apart, cleaned it. I might take that trigger off and just put it on the wall. See if I can get a cockpit for it. And the Han Solo rifle was in there. Brother Force Two rifle was in there too. So yeah, <laughs> not too bad. So that yeah, this is my workspace that I think what you'll see on the live streams obviously my uh, this uh, it is on a turntable it does spin around if I turn it on uh, just got a table it's on a table with a few figures on there there's the, there's a tripod that I use with the gimbal uh, there's a Lego my record collection, which I can't really get to because I've got an attack on top of it. Uh, my cars. Up onto the signed figures now. The signed Black Series. All signed. The brand new one. General Veers. They are two. Yeah, it's past I got to get bought. Okay, Sackoff signed it. So it's up there with me still on my stuff. I don't need a, a case for that one. My Dr. Afra signed. The only carded figure. I'm trying to work on that, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to work on that. Put it that way. My comics, I've got the first six. I do need the, the other six to go for the old Star Wars thing. But I would like to collect every single Star Wars comic. Empire, Turn the Jedi. Uh, my layer shelf is ongoing. <laughs> Another signed layer there. So yeah, this is an ongoing thing. I've put these display I've put them on sunglasses, so they're, they're up in the air. And put those little cards there. Looks quite good. So yeah, my little layer collection. All sorts there. I could really do with putting the picture on the wall and then give them a bit more space for to move it all around but we'll sort that out we'll sort that out there she is look my uh, backdrop for my live streams uh, ever it's ever changing ever changing I've just found a couple of these 
they were actually outside so I've I've cleaned them up I've tightened them up so I'm using them as displays I've got one and one down there so yeah these are yet to be really sorted out Toy box figures there and the cars, a few more uh, Batmobiles there. I've got a few Batmobiles to show you. So this is my recent acquisition of a kind of a display type thing. You've got your Star Wars, you've got your, your Marvel there. I could do with um, some lighting under there I think. I think I'm going to get some lighting. Just to brighten it up a bit. Uh, just a miscellaneous shelf. This Hulk behind there. I would like to get Hulk front and centre, to be honest with you. Um, I will tell you what I'm going to do with those figures when I get around to where I'm going to go. And that's just uh, a general um, Star wars -y shelf. So, I've got these posters on the wall, got my Flash Gordon poster there, got my X-Wing on the wall. I like it, I like, I like the, the fact that with, sh with ships you can pin them to the wall. Uh, if you've got them flat against the wall, it takes, takes up less space. There, my Jabba's Palace diorama. pretty cool yeah I'd like to I'd like to keep that as is uh, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with the Star Wars figures lady shelf number one again it's quite dark at the back I could do with a bit of light lighting in there but uh, a few new acquisitions wasp uh, Sif Peggy um, there are a couple that I still want. I do like the wonder on the on the display. So yeah, there's uh, going to be a few more added to that. It's going to get sorted out, and as I say, I'm going to explain to it when I get to the Titolf. Down to my Back to the Future, Batman, and Ghostbuster shelf. Again, this is all going to get sorted out. And down to me, Indiana Jones. Bit of a miscellaneous shelf. We've got a uh, caddy case at the back. Bit of a Star Trek thing going there. Uh, the phones sitting with Councillor Troy. A uh, few back to, uh, Battlestar Galactica. Star Trek. Book Rogers, all sorts of stuff in there. You've seen this before, it's, this is an ever, ever changing display. We've got the matchbox down there, Pontiacs, and the Knight Rider one there, the one in the box, all sorts in there. Onto the Corgi, Struck Dinky shelf. So we've got a, a mix. A lot of Batman as well on there. As I say, it's Corgi and Corgi and Batman shelf, basically, and a bit of a dinky in there as well. There's all sorts in there. Up to my return of a Jedi shelf. The UOX. Not complete. Yeah, I still need a few accessories for my UOX. Unfortunately. There's a couple of speeder bikes. I love my speeder bikes. Got the Motorjet version there and the UK version. Slight differences. Scout Walker, which is one of my favourite vehicles. 
Got a few card backs as well. And this is the miscellaneous vintage Star Wars shelf. Uh, this is going to get sorted. So there you go. Now these, I'm going to put a cabinet in the bedroom. Uh, so these are going to get taken out. These are going to get taken out, the, the Ewoks and all that. They're going to get taken out. So I'm going to have two shelves free for moving maybe some of the some of the ladies and definitely some of the Marvel Legends which you can't really see so they're going to get put in probably the, the second shelf down so it's going to, going to totally rearrange this I'm showing you now <laughs> so there you go there's some more figures there there's figures everywhere vintage figures everywhere so I'm going to get them all into this cabinet and what I would like to do up there is get a Ewok village maybe put the, the Ewoks in that Ewok village but uh, we'll have to see what happens with that I don't need to order that uh, cabinet onto another lady shelf we've got a soaker collection there Little Ahsoka collection, all sorts there. Iliat will sign, you've seen that one before, probably. Dr. Afra, I still want that Black Series, Dr. Afra. Sasha Banks is knocking about all over the place. So we've got uh, a few Lady Funkos. There, I've got an Amelia corner here. Having a melee corner. Down to the uh, the desk where uh, the magic happens. Oh, that's an emperor. So this is the this is my computer, my desk. Lovely, lovely things happen there. A bit of a display, which is a bit miscellaneous. It's uh, something that I could really sort out. Some of my pictures. Princess Leia, her body's falling off, but uh, some of my pictures, uh, though, who I've met, Back to the Future, and my uh, Red 5 poster there. I found that in a charity shop. Howarth Parsonage, love it there. Love the Brontes. This I'm going to try and find something to put here basically. So I don't know what I'm going to put there. I could actually put the cabinet there. But we'll see. We'll see. So that's the, now that's the room. Now I'm going to go into the bedroom. This is the wall I want to put it. I want to put the cabinet on. Get it lit up. It'll look, look very nice. I could be watch. I could look at it from my bed on a morning or an or an evening. So yeah, my episode one collection goes all around the wall. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, new ones in there, but uh, I think I need. I think I still need twenty one of those. Uh, I could put something here. Bit of a Ghostbuster tag thing going on. I've only got one of the retro. But uh, I've got quite a few of the few of the nice episode one. I just love that card. I've got this the contact ring <laughs> on the wall for some reason. Uh, I've got a bit of uh, Playmates, Star Trek. Cutest of Borg. Uh, yeah, the pro droid. Some of this I could I could get rid of, but uh, I just can't. <laughs> Bit TVC there. Look at look. I don't have TVC. 
That fives, I love that fives. A bit of G.I. Joe as well. I have snake eyes in your collection. So yeah, he's uh, just a matter of getting the last 21 of those uh, episode one figures. Got Kylo looking out the window. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like this video. Until the next time, may the toys be with you. Hello, welcome back to Blue Harvest Toys. I haven't done a room tour in a while, so here we go. Please watch. Hello, welcome back to Flo Harvest Toys. I haven't done a room tour in a while, so here you go. My pleasure. So here you go.